I'm Martha Bartlett Pyland, President and CEO of Banktastic and author of Beyond Sticky. We help financial brands build love and loyalty. We have a lot of conversations with clients about business development and it's often a tough thing for many institutions whether they're banks or credit unions. We are from an industry where we used to sit back and wait for customers to come to us, but now you've got competitors literally across the street as well as across the globe. So how do you help your bankers be more confident when they're going in to meet with a prospect? Well, I have a four point plan. And it's really pretty simple. If they go in with a lot of information, they can ask better questions and have better conversation about value that your institution can bring to those customers. So first off, just gain knowledge from similar customers. You all are big enough that you have probably got multiple similar customers in your suite of clients already. Take a look at them, what's happening in terms of trends, financially, but also in terms of their growth, their HR, and other issues that are happening to them. That's a really good start to help you set the tone for where you're going to start talking. Number two is ask your centers of influence. Why do you have an advisory board? Well, one of those reasons is for them to open doors and make warm calls for you instead of having you make cold calls. Ask those centers of influence. What do they know about this particular customer? What do they know about that business? What do they see happening in the marketplace? Those are also things that can help you have some better conversations about what you can bring to them. Number three, get comfortable with social media. There are a lot of bankers I know that are not comfortable with social media and they say they're going to stay away from it because they're uncomfortable, they're worried they're going to break a rule, there's so many regulatory issues, it's better stay away. We say, if your customers are there, if your prospects are there, you need to be there too. Taking a look at their social media can give you so much information on what's happening to that particular business. A lot of sales could mean a cash flow issue. A bunch of new locations could mean some opportunities for other financing that they need or a pay card for the expanded group of employees that they have. If you're looking at that social media, you can get a really good batch of insights into what's happening there. And again, have some conversation and make some recommendations. Last but not least, use our good friend Google. If you can just search that customer, his or her business, and what's happening in the industry, you'll have some insights into the heartburn that they're experiencing, as well as those good things. And once again, you have some good conversation starters to help you understand and unearth what's happening there and how you might be able to help. So that's it, one, two, three, four a little research with your current customers, your centers of influence, your social media, and search. And your bankers will go in with so much more knowledge and really set themselves and your brand apart from anyone else who's calling on them. Go get them.